called My Friend Earth by Patricia McLaughlin. My friend Earth wakes up from a winter nap. She hears the busy spring sounds, the farmer's hoe tapping in the ground, the caw of crows. She sees the little, the silent sea, the spider spinning silver, the robin and the wrens, and the large, the long winged albatross crossing the sea, the mole tunneling, the under dark. She guides the chimpanzee to her night nest, and the zebra baby to find his mother in the hundreds of black and white striped mothers. She tends the prairie where the sun-dappled wild horses run through grasses that swish, swish against her, their legs. The tundra where the reindeer graze for moss and the glistening ice where the young polar bear pads on mittened feet. She guards all the creatures in all the oceans. The black Monterey, Monterey's sleek like shadows the shining parrotfish, the tiny krill who swim with millions of other krill to look big, and the whales who are big. My friend Earth pours the summer rain to fill streams flowing down mountains, through the fields, to the rivers, to the sea. Sometimes she pours too much rain, flooding towns and meadows and roads until she dries the land. Sometimes she blows fierce autumn winds, sweeping the limbs of trees and shingles from the roofs of barns. Until she stills the wind, so red and orange and yellow leaves float to the ground. When cold comes again, my friend Earth sprinkles the snow, whisper silent, covering the dens where the baby black bears are born in soft darkness, drifting over the icy pond where the turtle sleeps in mud, settling into the empty nests of birds. Under the white, the silent seed is cradled in the dark soil, watching, waiting to fly up again in the warm, bright sun of spring. That was my friend Earth. Thank you for joining me.